Hello guys, so um, we're going to continue from where we stopped on the last um, video. So after the app has been approved on the Play Store and that we have applied for AdMob and they um, approved that, verified the app and it's ready to show ad and all that. So like I said, the next thing we're going to do is to create a promotion, is to create a um, promote the app, you know, advertise the app, show the app. No matter how good your app is, if you don't create awareness for the app, for people to know the app actually exists and how to use it, your app is just going to be there among millions or billions of dormant apps that people are not aware of. So one of the ways we're going to use to promote this app is Facebook ads and Google ads. So today we're going to be using, we're going to start with Facebook ad actually. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my ads manager. So um, I'm going to set up the ads, the app install ad on ads manager okay so facebook app install is what we're going to use now um there are several objectives on facebook ads that you can use to promote um run any advertising campaign and one of them is the app install there are other ones too so now i'm going to create a campaign and this campaign is going to be basically the app install campaign app promotion campaign there is awareness, there is traffic, there is leads and other objectives as you're going to see but the one we're using is the app install because it is going to be used for the app campaign, okay? So now, let me go ahead and switch this account to the account I intend to use for this campaign So now that that's been done, I am going to click on Okay, so I'm going to click on create So now this awareness, traffic, engagement, leads, app promotion and sales So we're going for app promotion campaign actually Obviously, so this um, Find new people to install your app and continue using it. So we click on continue. Now it comes to this. So now there is a new pattern that um, they're doing, but there's a manual one for app install. Let's choose this and click continue. So it's loading. Okay, so advantage plus ad campaign, see how preset, maximize performance, and find new customers. So, we're going to call this um, app install, okay? So, none of this does not apply to the app, so we're not going to do that. Then, mobile app store, Google Play, so you see there are different stores here that so this is what we have. So now we're going to say we should enter app name or exact store URL. So let's go with the app name. You should be able to find it. Okay. So if you can't find it, then we're going to go ahead and grab the URL. So this is the URL. And we come back here and we paste. So you say not connected to your ad account, so we select. Okay. So if you're unable to find your app, okay, that will be taken care of. So now audience, so we select in Nigeria, that's fine. Then comes your age, it automatically takes this. I think the settings were saved to your app in business, but only people this age and all that will see the app. Probably grabs this from the configuration from the play store okay optimization control define the goal for your ad and how you would like to spend your budget so this app install now this is the part i was talking about your ad can be optimized for app install because we haven't received any app activation event from your app to optimize the app install you need to add our sdk on ios or android to your app use the app at helper to verify that app installs have been observed for your app okay so now this is the part that we need to do to integrate the app and all those kind of stuff. 
So I'm going to go ahead to do this by adding this um, the SDK to the app before we now come back here to continue from where we stop, right? So because app install is the only this thing that you can you must make sure that your app is um the the sdk is there like i explained earlier for the app to be able to observe without the app um, sdk facebook sdk integrating your app facebook will not be able to know when the app is installed and all that so that's why they won't allow you move forward except you do this so guys that will be all for now in this video once the integration has been done um, on the app then we we'll come back here you see that the app will be able to detect that inside the app so when we do that we'll continue this video uh for now that'll be all i expect to see you in the next video bye for now